Yo, everybody, what's up? It's Wes from Puddle of Mud. You're watching Real Talker right now, baby. Woohoo, yeah! to be through all these decades and generations of fans. What is it like to do this in 2021? Man, it's it's incredible. I mean, you know. <laughs> Shit, man. All I got to say is thank you, Fred. Thank you, Fred Durst. You're the man. Thank you, Jordan Schur. Thank you very much, Danny Wimmer. Thank you very much, Jimmy Iovine. Everybody from Universal, Interscope, Wallace, Geffen. Uh... Thank you, everybody. Um, yeah, because, you know, y'all made my dreams come true, and I love you guys. And, uh, you know, um, I, I, you know, the thing about it is I, I just like to write songs. I mean, that's just what I, that's what I do. I, I just, you know, if, if you know, 11 o'clock p.m., you know, comes around, I mean, you will find me, like, just sitting on an acoustic guitar and, you know, Man, I've had many, many, many of different type of women that just try to rip me off the freaking the acoustic man, and I just keep going. And I just tell them to get the, you know, get the freaking head out of my face. We're on censored here, so you can you can rip it. Man. Oh <laughs> yeah, so those bitches can fucking go suck it. Anyway, but don't suck me, cause you ain't gonna get my shit. Anyway, yeah, cause they're done, done, did. But uh, yeah, man. Yeah, I write songs. That's what I do. That's what I was. Is that your with. favorite part of this whole gig? Or, or? All I want to do is write songs, perform as, as great as I can do, and that's the only thing I really care about, except for my family and my blood and my bloodline, you know. And you know, so that's what I do, man. And and uh, I will uh, I will prevail every time, and I will continuously write as the best songs as I can possibly do. You know, and that's what I did, dude. You guys started out in 91. Did you ever think 30 years later you'd still be doing this? You know, there's obviously been changes in, in the band and, you know, guys came and gone, but how far did you envision it and now that you're here, you know, at, at this point? I mean, that's, that's a hell of an accomplishment. 30 years is something, man. <clears throat> yeah, man, I appreciate that. Um, you know, I was, like, driving down from Wisconsin on the, on the highway down here, yep. coming into, like, Chi-Town area and uh, I saw like this ball of fire go over the fucking highway and it was like a trail of smoke and I was like this we were up we were up north and there the Wisconsin there was like there were deer hunters out there man and uh, this chick that I was dating she uh, she was like if I see another deer dead deer on, on somebody's fucking car like I'm gonna throw up all over you and yeah, so we start pulling up, man, and there's like a Yugo, and there was like 12 dead deers just bleeding, and they're dead, and they're, she threw up all over me, and then a fireball went by, and I, I just made a wish, and I was like, you know, I'd love to do this, you know, and then when I got to uh, Mobile, Alabama, um, yeah, so... When we got there, man, I I, uh, I said a prayer to God and I and I totally gave music up for the rest of my life and it was over. And I was like, thank you. And then when I woke up, there was one page on my pager, the little bitty pagers. Yep, yep, back yeah, day, yeah. It was Fred Durst from Limp Biscuit. That yep. changed everything, oh my god. He said, you gotta come to LA right now, dude. Let's rock. So that dude, amazing guy. He don't suck. That's for damn sure. You know, the, the crazy thing, like, I grew up, I was a teenager. I think, I don't know if you'd agree with me, the, the high point of you guys and a lot of the bands, we're talking about Saliva and all these other bands, was early 2000s. I feel like that's when the music was being all over. Like, it was mainstream at that point. You know, that was the height of it, in, in that sense of the genre. Um, do you look back at that point being kind of the high point for you guys and a lot of the several bands that you guys kind of worked with uh, throughout the years and, and toured with early 2000s? Yeah, like when we first started up and we were with uh, Stained and Godsmack yeah. and, uh, and like Filter and 
Um, and freaking, my God, man, like so many bands, like Three, you know, like, uh, three Doors Down, and we were at Nickelback, Kid Rock, uh, shoot, man, Three Days Grace, um, you know, Korn, I mean, I love Korn, man, I love those cats. Um, and we got to tour Lincoln Park, oh, you know, God Rest Chester's Soul. That still made me cry in about four seconds, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was a drag. And, uh, you know, Chris Cornell yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of loss in the last, uh, in the last 10, 15 yeah, years. Yeah. Really sucks, um, you know, but there's nothing I can do about it. But, uh, I mean, we've toured with so many different bands and had such a great time. I mean, we, shoot, man. I mean, it's been a hell of a, hell of a ride, man. Yeah. And, uh, it's awesome, man. It's really cool. Who are some of your, looking back now at the landscape of music, what sort of music do you like to listen to? Who are some of your favorite performers or bands that you really enjoy? You know, I love Fleetwood Mac. I love uh, okay. I love Prince. Um, you know, I, I, shoot, man, there's so many artists. Um, you know, like, um, we going to rock down to Electric <laughs> Avenue <laughs> and then we take it higher. I, I don't even know what the dude's name is, but he's awesome. And, uh, you know, Nirvana, and, you know, Chains, and, you know, I mean, like, the Pilots, you know, shoot, he's gone too. What the heck, what's gonna happen on that deal? Um, yeah, but um, there's a lot of, there's just so many artists, man, like, I, I just wanna name all of them. I'm talking about, like, you know, like, even the Carpenters, man, I mean, you know, like, like Elvis Presley, and, you know, Buck Cherry, and, Chuck they're gonna Barry. be here in a few weeks in this location. Great, right here. yeah. I hope they're doing good. I hope you guys are all right, man. I heard about the COVID scare, um, you know, and um, shoot, Motley Crue, and you know, Skip Row, and um, Jane's Addiction, man. Come on, Jane's Addiction all day. You're a fan of music, man. It's just in general, all the uh, Yeah, um, you know, even, even Michael Jackson, man. Like, you know. Um, yeah, I used to listen to him in my dad's car when I was a little bitty kid coming up, and yeah, and then um, shit, the Doobie Brothers, um, you know, it's a, just a lot of, you know, shoot, man, I mean, you probably got something that you're going to say to me. And yeah, I'll Shine Down, like, man, I love Shine, shine Down. Down. Yeah, Shine Down and, and uh, Saliva Three Doors too, Down, just, Three Doors Down, yeah. I probably already named them off. I just spoke to Bobby Omar from Saliva, too, that's, that's another Sweet, one. Sweet, you know? man. Yeah. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was... Uh, uh, Josie. Josie. Oh, he's been gone from the band for a while. Oh, yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. You might be still getting the cut off the deal. <laughs> Hopefully. Anyway, yeah, they're the Memphis Mafia. I love them. They're great guys. And uh, just tons and tons and tons of different artists, man. Madonna, you know. Um, I'm talking about, like, epic people. Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston. Um, you know, shoot, man. Just... Uh, I mean, there's so many artists that are, like, inspirational to, to me, and it's hard for me to even name off all of them, because there's so many, you know, and they've inspired me my whole life. Hey, Dave, who's your favorite uh, inspirational artist? Inspirational... Artist. Artist, oh. Or, or even someone currently that yeah, you like <laughs> too, too many, man, <laughs> too many. I'd say, you know, always great drummer singers like Don Anley and Phil Collins. Yeah, out of the Eagles. And, uh, yeah, absolutely, Joe man. Joe Walsh. Yep. Uh, we got freaking, you know, and then we got all the 80s school bands like Metallica. I love that stuff. Man, oh, yeah. you know, grew oh, up man. on hard rock. Yes. All that. And, you know, then fucking Zeppelin and all the 70s killer groups, Bad Company, all that. Hendrix. Stuff. Yeah, Hendrix, dude. Clapton. Van Halen. <laughs> uh, even uh, CCR, man. But, uh, yeah, John Fogarty. That dude is. A, that dude actually gave all of his publishing away to his his old band, the CCR band. Oh, wow. He he just let them all have. He said, "Here, take all these songs that I wrote that you guys are trying to steal from me, and I'm going to just go write another plethora of number one hit songs." And guess what that guy did. That's exactly. exactly what he did. Dave, Didn't know while I got you here, not. tell me something about Wes that you personally enjoy and like that we might not know about him. I mean, he's a family man. He's, he's <laughs> obviously is a dad too. Uh, tell me something about Wes that you know, maybe a softer side or, or some dirt, whatever I, you I want think, to share. You know, man, Wes is pretty true to himself. He definitely doesn't uh, hide any stuff, man. You know, he 
he's, he's a pretty upfront, real person, but a lot of people don't know he's also a very gentle soul. I think most artists are gentle. He's also super duper kind, you know, and, uh, and he's, he's, you know, just like all of us, man. He's a hard worker, man, and he writes amazing jams, and it's fucking, uh, I mean, what can you say, man? The guy is fucking. This guy's the. Yeah, what about this guy? He's the nicest, he's the nicest, the sweetest dude. And yeah. I'm telling you, man. Kiss me. This guy's. This guy is. This guy is. I mean, this guy is just. This guy is just. Seriously, he is the. He is awesome. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Final question I gotta ask you guys. You've been it for a while in different decades. What are the chicks like? I mean, when you're a rock star, man, I can only just imagine this life, but what are the chicks That's like when you're at the top West. of the game? I mean, I just, and have they changed over the years? Have they changed, like, too? I just got this to say. Yeah. So. When you're on tour and you're a singer, you know, like like me and Matt and Dave, everybody, um, we're we're constantly trying to rest our voices so we can like perform well. Yep. And um, girls, man, they will they will keep you up, man. They will keep you up too late, too late. And whatever the thingies they got in their pockets, we don't need that either. So. Yeah, so the best thing to do is just kind of stick with the wolf pack, you know? Yeah. Just hang with your pack and yeah. do not veer away from, uh, from you know, from safety. And, uh, and just, you know, stay focused, stay the course. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with women, you know? But it's just like, you know, you got to stay the course and you got to, like, do your, you know, be a professional person. And, uh, you know, that's basically pretty much yeah, it. Yeah, really. that, that's pretty or much what we do, or else you never get your, yeah, or else you wake up and, you know, there's like, you know, whatever chicks or whatever, and they're like keeping you up, and you don't get no sleep, and then you suck at singing, and then you're just like, fuck, man, what have I done? So, yeah, the shows are number one, man, that's it. Shows, yeah. audience, fans, and yeah. coming to a town near you. Ain't nothing wrong with the ladies, but... They just keep you up a little too long. Baby. Sound advice, I think, for everyone. Yeah. So, we're just out here to do what we do, man. You know That's what it. we're talking about. I wish I knew. I'm not that popular or known, so, you know. Well, take it from the <laughs> Awesome, guys. So much fun to see you. 30 years later, still going strong at it, and we'll be seeing Puddle Butt go another dozens of years, hopefully. Nice. Awesome. Thanks, dude.